Yeah, are you ready? Are you ready to receive from the Lord? If yes, put it in the comment section. Before we go into the message of today, I want you to know something. There's a passage in the Bible that, that says that, um, let me paraphrase what Paul was saying in that context. He says that the word that was preached to them does not profit them, not be mixed with faith. So, it is not about hearing the word of God alone. It's not about listening to messages alone. But you have to be intentional. You have to let your faith rise to be able to maximize what the Lord is saying. So, as you're about to listen to this, I want you to open up your heart. Let your faith be stirred up. And by faith, engage these principles that have been taught on this channel. And I know your life will never remain the same. So, without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. Receive deliverance this night. And begin to practice it from this night. You wake up. There are strategies that can enhance prayer. One of it is an atmosphere of worship. An atmosphere of worship can prime your passion for prayer. Are we together? If you need to use your alarm clock, why not? It's a blessing. Don't say I must be, I, I must wake up by the spirit. You are not being serious. Wake up by any means you can wake up. Doesn't matter. The, most of us just live around this. I know the Holy Ghost has a way of waking me by one o'clock. You tiredness, you can sleep till morning. Even Jesus slept until men woke him up. Are we together? So don't, don't make a fool of your Christian experience and say, if the Holy Ghost wants me to wake up, he has a way of waking me up. No, discipline yourself. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Elohim Madonai. Elohim Madonai. Elohim Madonai. Sometimes I can be sitting down as a leader and I can just have visions of tragedies that the devil wants to bring over people or see certain things that God wants to put in the life of people. That becomes part of my prayer project. Believe me, if I tell you I'm praying for you, I want you to believe it. I may forget sometimes because I'm human, but as much as I can, if you see me writing and saying I'm praying for you, know that I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. Yes. And while some of you are snoring away valuable prophetic speakings on your life, there are people who are praying. Shakakoski Ataba. Randy Gabriatosia, I've seen in the spirit that favor is supposed to rest upon Koinonia. Lord, I give you no rest until you establish Jerusalem as a praise. And you are praying. While you are praying, on Tuesday, prayer department takes it like that. Every department is really a prayer department. It's just that there is one dedicated to the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. King of kings, Lord of lords, Faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Imagine a worship song like this waking you up in the night. Shaba Katosiata. You lie down on the bed and you just program it. You imagine what you are hearing waking you up in the night. Worship him, why not? You can have a one hour session of worship like this and put it online. Help people. You don't have to be the one to sing yourself. And while it is playing, there's something that worship does to the spirit of man. It can take away laziness. Tiredness can dry away in one moment. Pray in the spirit for one minute whilst you are there. He praskata parenda ke parusiata, rakete praskata parenda ke fraskata belegata. Greater works, greater works across the nations of the earth. Greater works, birthed and enforced in the place of prayer. Birthed and 
enforced in the place of prayer perfect and enforced in the place of prayer go ahead and pray king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god we worship you king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god we worship you lamb of god we worship you pray lamb of god we worship you lamb of god we worship you take a minute and fold all seasons in your life fold all seasons in your life that everything that is inconsistent with god's blueprint in my life i hold on to the horns of the altar and i decree let it be done in this earth as it is in the heavens koinonia pray zaria pray a global family pray Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again, Emmanuel. And the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Hear me. In the name of Jesus. Are you learning? Listen. Your first response to anything you see or hear in the spirit or any prompting at all whether by the holy spirit or another kind of spirit is to pray prayer filters all revelations driving away that which is inconsistent with the will of god and establishing that which is consistent with the will of god you are a businessman i know that your transaction is where your reward comes from but your discernment does not come from transactions your discernment comes from prayer thou shall hear a voice saying this is the way walk ye in it you can transact well but in a wrong location if you are isaac and you get out of egypt and don't and and sow in another place you will not reap anything even though you have the ability to sow hallelujah listen to me let me challenge everybody here and I'm speaking to our global family, I have a responsibility over you. I want you to find a day this week that even if it's for two, three hours, except otherwise, if God can give you grace, please, I give you the permission, organize a family prayer for yourself and use one, two hours, settle certain things in your life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? If you're a father here, you are, you are married, you're a family man, I, I put that responsibility on you. Don't lazily say my wife is the one who can pray. In the name of Jesus, you have grace now. Yeah. Spearhead that move. Gather your children. John, where are you? Stephanie, where are you? In the name of Jesus, we are praying tomorrow. And if God grants you grace, you can declare a fast. The children can fast to 12. They will not die. Don't pamper them into spiritual weakness. If the same children are sick, they will not eat for three days and they don't die. Hallelujah. Please listen. This is an assignment to the Koinonia Global Family. You can use one day. It doesn't have to be all the day, but use one day. If you don't have a family, look for somebody to agree with you and say in the name of Jesus Christ, write a list of the things you want to deal with and if you do not know pray lord what am i doing on earth i'm tired of going around as
cutting men across their destinies reveal to me you said call on to me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things you can pray your personal requests and then pray for the program of god hallelujah bring before the throne that dream you saw you saw your mother dying you saw your father dying you saw ministry failing are we together now you saw your business failing don't sit down and let it happen then you say i saw it your seeing does not profit you your hearing does not profit you until you know how to allow or disallow things in prayer for as long as i'm alive my life will operate based on the will of god in partnership with my terms no devil who is not part of my life has the authority to put his hand in the affairs of my life Oh, if you see it in a vision, it will remain there. Prayer will hang it there for my lifetime. It will not bring it down. My assignment is to select the events in the spirit that are consistent with the will of God and to allow them to be made manifest. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer. Father, place upon me the grace to pray. Go ahead and pray. Place upon me. You are here, pray for your husband. You are here, pray for your wife. You are here, pray for your children. Take serious this prayer point. Zaria, are you praying? Koinonia Global, pray. And as many who are connecting, please pray for the grace. The grace to pray. The discipline to pray. With understanding. Fervent. Effectual fervent effectual you are a man of god here pray twice the days that are coming will not allow spiritual laziness you really need capacity in the spirit Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? My life is full of Your glory. My life is full of Your glory. Hallelujah! I'm hearing something in my spirit, and the Lord is saying, "I should tell you." There are two people here god is speaking to you and he's saying restore your prayer life you were once a person of great prayer but you veered off because of carelessness and god is saying i'm still waiting for you at the place of prayer i'm still waiting for you i'm still waiting for you there are songs you used to sing because you're a man of prayer a woman of prayer you've even forgotten them you don't even know them again Go back and carry your old notebook. The notebooks that you used to write those songs. Go back again. There are scriptures you used to know because you always use them in the place of prayer. Now you have forgotten them. Go back and carry those old notebooks again and begin to pray. Pray with understanding. Pray for victory. Pray to establish your enthronement. Pray to be a candidate for greater works. Please be seated. Spare me a few more minutes. Hallelujah. 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 
there is a quickening that is happening to your spirit man to be quickened means to be made alive awake thou that sleepest I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord, for in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. I raised that song and I was seeing a woman in my vision. You are the only one out of all your family people who is saved. Your husband is not even saved and you have two children let me tell you commit yourself to interceding don't say god cannot save your husband you don't know who he is amen god cannot is because you don't know who he is hallelujah god can visit your husband visit your children have you not heard the testimonies of people here it doesn't matter what the limitation is one of the ways you build your faith is in the place of prayer but ye beloved it says building up yourselves in your most holy faith praying 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 in the holy ghost let me give you a kind advice never take a step over anything you have not prayed about no matter how sure you are even if it is five minutes prayer with understanding one decision that is filtered through the place of prayer can save you 10 years 20 years perhaps a lifetime of misery hallelujah the force of prayer let me give you one more and then we are done for part one there's someone you are watching me from lagos another person is watching me from calabar i just saw a mighty impartation that is happening to you for one you're a man and a woman sitting in front of your phone you play something like you are recording and you are following me there is there is light and fire and grace that is resting upon you in the name of Jesus and the Lord is showing me overflow one in Zaria there is someone overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions the grace for visions overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let there be a mighty restoration a mighty restoration in the name of Jesus can I tell you something look at me one moment one idea there are many ideas by the grace of God that run this ministry that came in the place of prayer. The blueprint for the next season of this ministry came. When God moved us to Abuja, I told you already, it was in the place of prayer that God gave me certain instructions and obeying that instruction. If you do not know what to do in your life, start by praying. In the place of prayer direction comes you confirm that direction with scripture and the witness of the spirit and then obtain grace to walk in keeping with the direction you have received you have found your way out of any situation with prayer comes direction with direction will come confirmation just because you received it in a place of prayer does not mean to execute it because all things must pass through the lens of scripture satan can also appear as an angel of light and sometimes even in the midst of prayer your mind can speak to you and because of the atmosphere with which you received it from you can think is god until you open it is written you will find out that as zealous and as powerful as that prompting was it was not really god don't be ashamed because you are growing 
the devil can wait for people in that atmosphere of prayer he will slip in a lot of things that are not the will of god and you will say yes lord to everything and then ignore the written word this is what makes your prayer effectual effectual means you submit it to scripture fervent means your heart is involved in it you can pray and come out with error from the place of prayer because you did not exalt the word of god above whatever you received in the place of prayer it was while jesus prayed that satan came and said turn this stone into bread if you were jesus after fasting for 40 days and hearing that every voice you hear you will assume is the holy spirit and you say speak lord i'm listening and you will turn a stone to bread and rubbish a great ministry that is about to start but jesus said it is written he never said i prayed he said it is written there are many people who go to pray and in the place of prayer they hear all kinds of things both what god is saying and what flesh is saying and what demons are saying because your ears your capacity to pick signals from the spirit is heightened and the realm of the spirit is a noisy realm there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification the voice of the holy spirit is not the only voice you will hear it takes a lot of training death alignment for you to filter other voices and to learn how god speaks to you and talking about the way god speaks I've done a teaching on the voice of God. I want you to look for it online and I hope that we'll have the opportunity to teach again. We have a series along the lines of hearing God. There are many people who claim to hear God, but at the end of it, you will find out that the performance that follows what they heard does not birth the glory of God. That must be self because your heart also has a voice. It says, say not in your heart. That means your heart speaks and demons speak. Satan will not speak to you and say, I am Satan, rise up. No. Satan will tilt towards the area of your passion and your hunger. If you have been fasting, he will say, turn this stone into bread. He will come and fashion the weapon against you based on your need. And sometimes you're lost. Say amen. amen. So we need to pray. But we need to submit our prayer to the word of God. There are many people today, their conviction has been destroyed because of wrong things they had in the place of prayer. They would tell you, I prayed and God told me that in the place of prayer, I saw myself collecting your car. Give me my thing. And they are sincere because that's what they were manipulated to hear. But once you take that towards your will, you will know that the only person who acts like that is Satan. Jesus is never called the thief. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. God will never give you the ministry of stealing, killing, and destruction. Are we together? Yes. Father, I like the job that this man is doing. And even though I do not have it, can you for God's sake, even though this is, person is a church member, or is my tribes person can you remove the person out of this job and give me that may look like a, a, a it's a sincere prayer but it's a foolish one and god is merciful because before god rates you he will look at your level of knowledge perhaps you have been wrongly mentored to imagine that anything you want kick whatever is standing in front of it there are rules to engage i told you that when you say let god arise and all his enemies the people to be scattered are his enemies not your enemies me. his enemy is anybody who perpetually becomes an interruption to the manifestation of his will and that can include you even if you are Jonah thank you for staying to the end of this message but before you leave I want to tell you a story there was a father who has two sons and so he sent two of his sons to the farm like to go and harvest yam so he called them both and sent them the elderly one says he is going to go that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went 
but the one who says he was not going to go, at a point he thought within himself and said, my father has been very responsible for me, so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening, and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies, and you do not apply this message, it means the time that you dedicated listening to, them, to this message was a waste. So it is not about what you hear alone. It's not about the messages that you listen to alone. It is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um, better. So I do hope and I pray that this message will transform your life. We'll turn your life around.